You're listening to Texas Top Homes. I'm your host, Freeman Sawyer. With me is my co-host, Tracy Wiesman. Today, we're just visiting with one of Texas Top Realtors, Tessa Larson for Keller Williams. Welcome to the show, Tessa. Thank you for having me. All right, Tessa, let's switch gears and talk about sellers for a second. Um, what are some of the things you tell your sellers to do to get their home ready to put it on the market? Yeah, well, we can go back to the Pinterest home idea. Um, so something we do is always, you know, fresh paint, um, you know, clean their carpets, uh, get their flower beds looking good. The outside, the curb appeal, you know, that's that's the face and that's the first, sure. you know, introduction you have to the property. So as they say, you get your first chance to make a lasting impression. I think that that's one of the things is to have the outside of your house looking as best as possible. Yeah, if, if um, your house doesn't look good from the outside, they may never make it inside. Yeah, and it, it's interesting. It almost does put like a negative connotation on it. If you're like, oh, all their bushes are dead, and then you get inside, you wonder what else has been neglected. Sure, sure. So it really does kind of put a, um, I guess, doubt in the buyer's mind of what's mm-hmm. going on with the house. What so, about staging? Do you do any staging? We do. And I personally will walk through the house and stage it with some people. You know, if your house is clean enough, we'll give you advice and tips. Uh, I try to go over the day before the photographer gets there. Okay. We send them a list and they can kind of check stuff off the list um, of what to do. And it's just decluttering and depersonalizing. I am really serious about them taking all their personal possessions out of the house, such as tax returns, checkbooks, jewelry, prescription drugs, stuff like that, that guns that people don't think about. They see them every day. They don't think anything of them. Sure. Good point. And I'm like, get those out of your house. You don't want to be liable. You don't know who's coming in here. I don't know who's coming in here. We got to get that stuff out of the house. Sure. Right. How, um, much, how much does it cost to stage a house for our listeners out there that maybe don't know? Yeah. Well, you pay by the hour for a professional stager to come in, and it ranges anywhere from 175 to 250 Okay. And th- different stagers do it different ways. It's If they're bringing furniture, it's far more expensive than that sure. because you're paying that price. And some of them, like if you got a professional stager on a vacant house, you're, you could look upward to $1,500. Okay. But that's some of the stuff that you do yourself for your clients. Yeah, so I, I, I'll walk through and provide that with you, you know, to, to go through and show you what needs to be done and what makes it look like home to someone else. Because that's very hard. I You know, I'm looking at it through the buyer's eyes. So sellers, you know, may not, they're looking at it through their own home, their so, own house. So for our listeners out there thinking about selling their house, staging is 100% on every single house has to be staged in some way, shape, or form. Absolutely. I, I won't, we won't take pictures until it's staged. Gotcha. Tessa, how can folks find you? Give us your website and phone number. Sure. My phone number is 469-248-5119. And my website is www.agenttessa.com. 